the church stuff, I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to hear about what pastor talked about last Sunday. Dad. And you're praying in your Bible, do it when I'm not around. I'm done. Just keeps running through my mind. If I just would have taken the time to sit there with her and listen. You know, you can't keep complaining about your dad and expecting things to change. We know that we should be an example. We know that we should follow in his footsteps. Yet so often we don't. I have something to tell you. We're in danger of foreclosure of our home. Son is just a, a house. Right in me. Why did you have to take her from me? I'm tired of being worried and afraid. This is amazing what God is doing. I mean, would you even be in here if God had not taken Jen? Jen tried to tell me about Jesus a long time ago. The example is right in front of me. My wife and my son. What's with the Bible? I barely got a word out of my mouth. So you didn't hit a home run the first time. You went up to bat. Big deal. Oh, man. You never did stuff like this before. Ever. I'm different now. I'm out of here. John. You and Maggie, you guys been hanging out uh, a little more frequently? Yeah. Have you talked to her? I mean, really talked to her. Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. God is the only one who can make beauty out of ashes. I know it's not going to be easy, but you know, the peace that I feel with him now, it's going to be better. My relationship with Stephen, it's going to be much stronger. As time goes, there'll be change. Well, we still have time to save the house. But what if you can't?